Hey, what's up, laddie fam? So for today's warm up, we're going to do two rounds of 10 reverse lunge to high knee, 10 shoulder taps, five burpee broad jump, and we're gonna finish that off with a 100 meter run or 30 second run. Let's warm up, guys. Reverse lunge to high knee. Step one leg back, keeping your front foot flat on the ground. Drop your back knee to the ground, creating a 90 degree angle with your front knee. Driving off your front foot, stand tall and bring your back knee off the ground, transitioning into a high knee. Reverse the movement and complete all reps before switching sides. Shoulder taps. In a high plank position, maintain a tight core. Focus on keeping your hips from swaying side to side. Then with control, bring your left hand up, touching your right shoulder, and then right hand, left shoulder. Burpee broad jumps. You're going to perform your standard burpee where chest and hips touch the ground. You'll pop your hips, come up to stand, and you will perform a broad jump, ensuring that your hip comes to full extension and you land softly on your feet. Shuttle run. Like a normal run, with your chest up, hands swinging back and forward, focus on taking off and landing on the balls of your feet. Your skill strength today is going to be three to four sets of reverse Nordic curl and a wall sit. For the reverse Nordic curls, we're gonna do 10 of those in each set. Just be careful not to sag those hips or you're going to feel the work in your quads. And for the wall sits, if you feel any pain in the knee joint, step your feet out slightly out further from the wall so you can feel that burn in your quads again. All right, you guys, let's get started. Reverse Nordic curl. Place knees and feet close together at hip width apart. Lower shoulders towards the floor, maintaining hip extension and bracing your core. There should be no strain in the low back and you should feel a stretch in the front legs. Avoid letting the hips drop backwards at any point during the workout. Only lean back as far as you're comfortable. Wall sit. In a squat position, your back is going to maintain contact with the wall. Avoid leaning forward or using your hands to support your body on your knees. I'm going to hold this position for 30 seconds. You want today? 15 minute AMRAP. 15 air squat. 15 foot handstand wall. And a 200 meter run. Or a 90 second shuttle run. Alright, guys, let's warm up. I mean, let's work out. Handstand walk. Place hands just outside shoulder width. Kick up to a handstand. Keep your arms extended and push up through your shoulders. Abdominals remain braced and spine neutral. Allow weight to shift to one side. Move your unloaded arm forward. Shift weight to the front hand and repeat. You can modify your handstand walk by doing a wall walk and holding a wall facing handstand hold. To intensify it a little more, you can do 10 shoulder taps. To scale the movement down, you can hold a handstand or a pike push-up on the box. Alright guys, let's work out. 